She's got gold! Jessica Gadarova is floor world champion! Jessica Gadarova, a new world star, much needed for British gymnastics as it starts to rebuild its reputation. It's golden Gadarova! But while its future may look much brighter, its past still haunts many whose experiences have taken them to a very different place. I ended up going quite big periods of time of not eating. Ellie Marinova was three when she first fell in love with gymnastics. By the time she was a teenager, it was a sport that had nearly killed her. She has only recently left hospital, where several years ago she was admitted with a serious eating disorder. Ah, start. Ellie says it was, in large part, an illness caused by gymnastics and its obsession with weight. The constant weighing, we got put in weight order line and at the start of every session we got weighed and depending on what that was, was dependent on how we got treated, what we were allowed to do that session and things like that. So if the number was too high for what they would want you to be, then you were punished with conditioning, running, skipping, things like that. Ellie says it wasn't long before, to avoid being ridiculed, her weight dominated her every waking hour. It involved me not eating, over-exercising more outside of sessions and things like that. And, like, during school time, I would never really hang out with anyone at school. I'd just go hide in the bathroom so I could, like, run on the spot pretty much and just put my food down the toilet and stuff. This pattern led to her diagnosis and eventual self-harming. In hospital, Ellie tried to kill herself on several occasions. The past few years have honestly changed me so much. I was so miserable and I never thought I was actually going to make it out alive, nor did any professionals. All of this came from something that I started when I was three years old, loving it, wanting to do it all the time, to something that changed my life completely. Ellie trained under head coach Nikki Thorne in Yates near Bristol. After multiple complaints against her, she is now being investigated by British Gymnastics but is not suspended. ITV News has seen written testimony from many gymnasts. They make various claims, but one theme is constant. She did say one time, you look fatter and your cheeks are chubby. I hated my body and would constantly tell myself I was fat. On my period, Nick said to me, I'd be bloated, so I should eat less to balance it out. During training, we were told it was a waste of time to hydrate and that we would put on weight by drinking. Freya Cooper is now at circus school. She used to train at the same gym as Ellie. Her time there, she says, has left her with anxiety and a lack of self-worth. It was honestly like a form of torture. <laughs> You feel so trapped because you're being, like, hounded and screamed at and it's really hard to exercise when you have no energy or haven't eaten and it would be quite a regular thing for people to pass out, throw up and that would just be, like, standard, standard really and just expected but outside of the gym it meant it affected every part of my life. Like, I couldn't, couldn't do what everyone else was doing and... I just went in a downward spiral with my view towards myself and food. Nikki Thorne denies all the allegations, which she describes as shocking and unfounded. In a statement to ITV News, she said, To suggest I would mistreat any gymnast is deeply upsetting, hurtful, and the opposite of everything I have strived to be as a coach. Mrs Thorne confirmed she was under investigation. She said, I am fully cooperating with the British Gymnastics investigation and have provided extensive evidence to refute allegations of misconduct. British Gymnastics is facing a huge backlog of abuse investigations, some unresolved for more than two years now. Most athletes who've complained would be happy with validation and an apology, but continue to share their stories so there is less chance the next generation of young gymnasts experience what they did and end up carrying serious mental health challenges into later life.